morning children i hope you all are very good today we will start a new chapter of evs that is chapter number 3 for class 2 so here is your evs textbook please open page number 15 everyone open page number 15 chapter number 3 and the chapter name is our family read again chapter number 3 and the chapter name is our family everyone loves their family very much right so in this chapter we shall learn about the importance of a family also we can uh, learn about different types of families around us right first of all here are a warm up exercise let's start Here is a question. Read it. Which of the above activities can you do on your own? Which of the above activities can you do on your own? Who has taught you to do these activities? Question says. Here are some pictures given. To showing some activities. Now see and guess that which activity. can you do on your own like reading first of all reading do you read your book or anything on your own next wearing clothes do you wear your clothes on your own next making bed do you make your bed daily by yourself next combing hair do you comb your hairs by your own or not so someone some children say yes that they can do all these activities by their own but some children cannot now i want all of you should do these activities by yourself daily with the help of your elders okay now who has taught you to do these activities if you can do all these activities then tell me who has taught you to do these activity maybe your mother grandmother or other family members or your teacher okay hope you understood now come to our main content start reading first point is what is a family now what is a family let's start reading parents and their children together make a family who make a family parents and their children together make a family right do you know a family consists of people who live together and related to each other those who are live together and related to each other they are called family members right next they love each other and care for each other they love each other and care for each other yes a family provides love warmth and protection to its member you also love your family members you love your grandmother you loves your grandfather father you loves your father you love everyone if in your family there is a pet you also love this that pet yes so a family provides love next they also help one another in times of need they also help one another in times of need we depend upon our family in the times of need yes how for our education 
for clothes for food for any type of situation when we are in any type of need we depend upon our family we depend upon our elders okay next children learn a lot of things from their parents and other family members children learn a lot of things from their parents and other family members yes more importantly we learn values and other many culture from our family okay like to obey and respect elders to talk politely to speak always truth all the values of its society we learn from our family family is our first school parents are first teachers right hope you understood well now come to the next page page number 16 and the topic is we are related to each other in a family yes as i told you that a family consists of people who live together and related to each other so we are related to each other in a family in a family everyone is related to one another in a family everyone is related to one another a member of our family especially one who does not live with us is called a relative yes in a family everyone is related to one another a member of our family the member of family especially one who does not live with us those who cannot who does not live with you with your home they are called relatives okay let us read about different relations in a family we will talk about the relationships with the people with the family members of a family first point our mother is our father's wife relation between in mother or father is husband or wife means our mother is our father's wife and our father is our mother's husband so the relation is wife and husband your mama your mama is your father's wife and your papa is your mama's husband all right now come to the second point our sister or brother is our sibling our sister or brother is our sibling your sister your sister or your brother elder or younger whatever but your sister or your brother is your sibling brother sister called sibling right third point the father of our mother or father is our grandfather listen carefully the father of our mother or father the father of our mother or father is our grandfather means the father of your mother or father is your grandfather all right and the mother of our mother or father is our grandmother and the mother of your father and mother is your grandmother now come to the next the brother of our father or mother is our uncle the brother of our father or mother is our uncle means the brother of your father or mother is your uncle you address him 
कॉल बाय अंकल आर अंकल्स वाइफ इज आर आंट यू एड्रेस टू अंकल्स वाइफ बाय आंट ओके द सिस्टर ऑफ आर फादर और मदर इज आर आंट टू नो कंफ्यूजन आर अंकल्स वाइफ अंकल्स वाइफ इज आर आंट एंड द सिस्टर ऑफ आर फादर और मदर इज ऑल्सो आंट राइट नेक्स्ट द चिल्ड्रन ऑफ आर अंकल्स एंड आंट्स आर आर कजन्स द चिल्ड्रन ऑफ आर अंकल्स एंड आंट्स अंकल्स एंड आंट्स चिल्ड्रन आर योर कजन्स होप यू अंडरस्टूड द रिलेशन बिटवीन अदर फैमिली मेम्बर्स Now see this picture. We have fun with our siblings. You also fun with your siblings. We have fun with our siblings. We have a good time with our cousins on holidays. At the time of holidays, your cousins or you visit to their place or they visit to your place. So it's time to fun. Hope you understood till here. Next topic is types of family. Types of family. Now we can study about different types of families around us. Okay. Families can be of different types. A family which has one set of parents and their children is called a nuclear family. So, what is a nuclear family? A family having a father, mother, one or two children is a nuclear family. This is a picture of Rajat Khosla's family. This is the picture of Rajat Khosla's family. Rajat lives with his mother, father, and sister. The Khoslas are a nuclear family. See this picture. This is Rajat. He lives with his mother, father, and sister, and it becomes a nuclear family. Okay, hope you understood. What is a nuclear family? A family having a father, mother, and their children. Now come to the next page, page number seventeen. This is Mary Jacko's family. This is Mary Jacko's family. Mary lives with her mother, father, brother, grandfather, grandmother, and grandfather in one house. Mary lives with her mother, father, brother, grandmother, and grandfather in one house. She has two little cute pets also. Such a family is called a joint family. Her family is called a joint family. A joint family has more than one set of parents and their children. A joint family can also be big or small. So Mary has a small joint family. means a joint family can also be big or small and the mary family is a small joint family a small joint family is often simply known as large family it means large family what is a large family in this types of families there will be more people than a small family uh, means a family having parents grandparents one two or three children in a family in a large family okay it it becomes a large family and mary has a small joint family hope you understood next a big joint family 
is is the one where the children live with their grandparents parents uncles aunts and cousins in the same house what is a big joint family big joint family a family having grandparents parents children uncle aunt and their children is a joint family this kind of a large family is called called a joint family okay hope you understood now in some families one or more children live with their either their mother or father in some families one or more children live with either their mother or father such a family is called a single parent family in that family there is only one parent either mother or, fa- or father such a family is called a single parent family a child who has only one parent either this is mother or father this is a picture of urvashi urvashi ganguli and her mother this is a single parent family see this picture she is Urva- urvashi and her mother this is a single parent family hope you understood here are many more families nuclear families joint families in joint families there are small joint families small big fa- big joint families large families single parent families right hope you understood well here is a homework alternative to homework pair and share let's do this activity ask your family members to share with you some funny incidents from their childhood share these incidents with your partner in the class also discuss the types of families both of you belong to find out the similarities or differences between your respective families now this is a good time to do this activity so you can ask to your family members to share with you some funny incidents from their childhood like ask ask to your grandmother or grandfather if they with they are with you about their any type of funny incidents from their childhood from their school time incident okay and you will share that incident in the class whenever our classes will conduct okay hope you understood now come to the next page open page number 18 everyone page number 18 and the next topic is we do everything together in a family we do everything together in a family yes we do everything together in a family we will do all type of work together we help each other we share our thoughts with the family members right we share our joys and sorrows with the members of our family yes we share our joys and sorrows with the members of our family when you have any type of sadness then you have to go and share with your parents or other family members right especially to your mother is it right or wrong right and also you when you are very happy then you also share with your family members we help each other with household chores and also have fun together yes especially at this time i hope my dear all children you help their parents with the household work also enjoying with 
all the fam family members next our elders look after us and help us to grow well yes and we also we should always respect them and other family members we should take care of our grandparents and spend time with them yes our elders love us very much they always take care of us we should always respect and obey them we always to talk politely and behave courteously with them sometimes your grandparents recite the stories for you sometimes they play with you so always take care of your grandparents and other family members especially this epidemic covid-19 i hope my all dear children you all understood this chapter properly and you should take care of your grandparents especially right read this chapter once again in at, at your home read this chapter this is your homework okay hello children i hope you all are very good today we will do the textbook exercises of chapter number 3 What is the chapter name? Our chapter name is our family. Okay, so open page number nineteen, everyone. Exercises. First exercise is find out five related to a family in the following grid. Find out five words. related to a family in the following grid here is a grid given given i find four of the words related to a family now you will find one remaining word okay like i find here cousin sister father uncle you will find one more All right. Now come to the next page. Page number twenty. So B exercise. Tick the correct option. Now here are some fill in the blanks. Options are given in the bracket. So you will choose the right one and fill in the blank as I filled here. Number one. parents and children make a dash so parents and children make together crowd or family they make family so the right answer is family number 2 our uncles children are called dash cousins and friends our uncles children are called our cousins okay so the right answer is cousin now come to the third point our father's father is called dash grandfather and grandmother the question asked about the father's father so our father's father is our grandfather okay so the answer is grandfather now come to the next point our father's sister is called dash uncle or aunt the question asked about father's sister so our father sister is called our aunt okay um last question is last point is our mother sister is called dash our mother sister is called our aunt or sister 
so our mother sister is called our aunt okay now come to the c match the following for doing this exercise you will use your scale okay number 1 uncle number 2 aunt number 3 sibling number 4 grandmother here are another options a uncle's wife b brother or mother or father brother of mother or father c mother of father or mother d our sister or brother let's do it uncle uncle is our brother of mother or father so match the point 1 with option b with using this scale okay second point is aunt so aunt is our uncle's wife aunt is our uncle's wife so match the point 2 with option a point 3 sibling sibling is our sister or brother so match point 3 with the option d point 4 is grandmother grandmother is our mother of father or mother so match the four option with the c option all right i hope you understood well now come to the d exercise answer the following questions you will do this exercise in your notebook as you did the first and second chapters in your notebook so i am going to explaining these questions here and the answer sheet of these question that i am explaining here is uploaded on the our school website okay first question is who is a sibling who is a sibling who is a sibling our sister or brother is called our sibling okay now question number 2 is what do you understand by the term cousin what do you understand by the term cousin cousin means the son or daughter of an uncle or aunt called cousin okay now question number 3 what is a nuclear family what is a nuclear family a family which has one set of parents and their children is called a nuclear family or a small family right now fourth question is which type of family is called a joint family this type of family is called a joint family a joint family has more than one set of parents and their children a joint family can also be big or small okay now last question is what is a single parent family so what is a single parent family in some families one or more children live with either their mother or father such a family is called a single parent family okay hope you understood well so do all these question and answers in your notebook you will write note down the questions from your book from here and answers from that answer sheet okay and you make sure your writing should be very neat and clean now there is a box given think tank following are two situations one of these shows a wrong behavior among family members which one is it and why 
the question says here are two pictures given to showing the two different situations one of these shows a wrong behavior among family members so which one is it first of all see this picture carefully in this picture they fight or quarrel with each other and in this picture the boy take care of his grand grandfather so this one is the picture that shows a wrong behavior so we should never quarrel or fight with anyone all right we always take care of our family members hope you understood now come to the next page page number 21 here is an another box nice fish what would happen if family members stop helping each other discuss with your friends how you help your family in doing household chores share with the class any incident when you meet anyone in the family feel special okay first of all we will discuss about the household chores and any incident whenever our classes will conduct right first of all the question is says what would happen if family members stop helping each other so what will happen if family members stop helping each other we all can use a helping hand at times right and if our family members does not help each other it makes lives lives harder when we are in need so always help to each other okay now here is an activity given this is the family tree of maya kumar fill in the blanks based on this family tree here is a family tree given family tree of maya kumar right we will fill in the blanks based on this family tree first of all we will find where is maya kumar where is maya kumar see in this picture she is there okay so let's start starting they looks like very old to so maybe they are maya's grandparents he is maya's grandfather name ashok kumar she is maya's grandmother named rita kumar okay next they have two children one boy and one girl the girl name is neetu roy and boy mohit kumar all right now mohit kumar has a wife named alia kumar okay and neetu's husband name is amit roy now neetu and amit has three children name anya roy gaurav roy and adi roy and mohit alia mohit and alia has one daughter one child name maya kumar so maya is mohit and alia's daughter hope you understood now let's complete this blanks maya is gaurav's where is gaurav's gaurav so maya is gaurav's cousin okay neetu is adi's where is adi adi and neetu is adi's mother mohit is anya's where is anya's mohit is anya's uncle ashok is mohit's where is mohit father 
means father of father grandfather rita is maya's where is rita grandmother okay hope you understood you will do this activity by yourself okay i hope you all understood about this chapter so first of all i want to say stay home stay safe and always help to your family members and take care of grandparents okay